So bear fair trading is all about value, value, value. But what the is it? Okay, now everyone's saying to you, you gotta find it, but you're there scratching your head or maybe something else because what the F is it? And how do we find it? Especially when you feel like you've got more chance of finding a shiny Charizard in a packet of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So let's break it down. Let's smash value to pieces so that you can understand the definition of it. Regular watchers of the show will also know that I have some new curtains here. My wife has bought some lovely dinosaur curtains for my daughter and she's decided to put them up to test what they're like with about a million different paint swabs because yes, you guessed it, I am leaving my office. It is going to be my daughter's new bedroom. Wicked. Now, back to the value, better fair trading, what the hell is it? Right, well firstly, let's break down the definition of value. And the first thing that I like to do when thinking about this is go to the investing world. Now, the investing world says that value investing prioritizes paying low prices for investments relative to their intrinsic values. A, values investor, a value investor's goal is essentially to buy $100 worth of a company's stock for ideally much less than $100. So in simple terms, if I give, gave you the chance right now, not that I have a Lamborghini, but I gave you the chance to buy a Lamborghini worth 150,000 and said, you can buy it off me for 100 grand, that is value. It's the exact same as what you're getting with trading, you're getting values on your selections because what Betfair is giving you is lower than what you think it should be. Now I'm going to show you how to work that out and what it means for your trading and how you can use it. Now, in the process of writing out this blog post, not well, this video, sorry, I put all my calculations down and I literally wrote it out as a script, which I keep referring to here. So sorry if that annoys you, but if you want to know what value is, get over it. And if you want this, if you comment the word maths, I'll send you it, okay? Because we're gonna do some simple maths right now. I was terrible at maths at school, right? Terrible, firstly, because when I was at high school, my teacher was horrendous. She was so bad that just we didn't really do anything. And then when I went back to college, a little bit later on in life, still trading and yeah, another story for another day, I always left early because I was going to watch Liverpool. So <clears throat> my maths lessons were on a Wednesday, on a Tuesday afternoon. I got a really bad cough. And I went to watch Liverpool a lot in the Champions League in the Rafa days, and I was always leaving early for dentist appointments, doctor's appointments, etc., etc. Now, <coughs> pardon me, it's worth noticing, noting right now, the BTC stats can do all of this for you. You do not need to go through this operation, okay? But if you want to do it, and I do, under, I do think that you need to know how that this calculation is formed so that then when you see the information, you understand it a little bit more. So it's really, really good to understand this information. Now, I'm gonna use a football match for this. And because Liverpool absolutely smashed Man United yesterday, seven nil, seven nil, I thought, what better game to use than Liverpool, Man United to at the start. I'm really sorry, Terry, I know you'll be watching this, but you do give me some stick for being a Liverpool fan, and I'm gonna take my time to give you some back. So, like I say, I'm feeling very, very excited because Liverpool beat Man United, 7-0. Now, you can go back as far as you like. I like to use the last 10 games. That's what I'm gonna show you in this example. You want the home data for home and you want the away for the away. So go somewhere like Soccer Stats, which is what I did for this example. So I actually ran through this example today and you know what, it took me like half an hour to get all the information. BTC stats, three clicks, boom, done. Um, you want uh, Liverpool's last home results, last 10 home results with seven wins, two draws, one loss. Man United's away results were five, five wins, two draws, three losses. Now there's three outcomes in the match odds market, which is what we're gonna to use today. The home win, the draw, or the away win. Now to get Liverpool's price, we take their home wins, we add them to Man United's losses. So seven Liverpool wins, three Man United losses equals 10. We do the same for the draw. We add the draws together, two draws and two draws, Liverpool Man United, so that is four. And then United's price, we take 
Liverpool's losses, add them to my United's wins, we get six. One, um, one loss, Liverpool, and um, five away wins. Now, this isn't head-to-head -head stats. This is the current season stats, okay? The reason I like to use current season stats is head-to-head -head is great, but I just use it as another additional filter later on. <coughs> because sometimes teams do cancel each other out. Liverpool, Chelsea have a habit of doing that. But I want re this data of how they're playing in the season. Okay, so now we've added that, we need to get the percentage chance that this can happen. Now, to do that, and I say now a lot, don't I? We divide it by the total for the 10 t home games and the 10 away, meaning we get 20, okay? So now we have a Liverpool percentage of 50% of winning the, of winning the, the match because we're dividing 10 by 20 and then we do the same for the draw we get a 20 percent chance of this happening and then for united we've got a 30 percent chance of this happening so really really straightforward liverpool based on stats data alone 50 percent chance of winning united have a 30 percent chance and the draw is 20 percent now i hear you say but what good is that because betfair is into decimal so how on earth do we do that we simply divide 100 by the percentage so 100 divided by 50 gives us 2.0 and then the draw, that was Liverpool's chance, by the way. The draw, 100 by 20%, gives us 5.0. United, 100 divided by the 30%, gives us 3.3. Now, what do we do with all of that information? Well, we then go to Betfair and we look at the odds and we compare it to what we are getting. Now, I didn't trade this game. One of my rules is that I don't trade Liverpool, so I didn't even know the odds of Liverpool, to be honest, before the game. And looking back now, I wish I had done, I, I probably would have put some money on them. But hindsight's a wonderful thing, and we don't do after timing. And also, I wouldn't have done because I don't trade Liverpool. Now, I was looking at Betfair on Flash Score, and they gave me these odds. Liverpool were 2.40, the draw was 3.50, and United were 2.88. Now, all we do is we simply compare the odds we have on Betfair to what we have. Okay, so Liverpool on Betfair were 2.40, and our odds gave them 2.0. The draw was 3.5 on Betfair. We had 5.0. United were 2.88 on Betfair and our odds was 3.33. You can see differences there. Now, what I do is I take the percentage chance of the... I, take, I turn the Betfair odds into a percentage and I compare it to our percentage and then I take it away from each other. So I take away our percentage away from the Betfair one, okay? Now, to get the percentage, we divide... 100 by the Betfair odds. So if we divide 100 divided by 2.4, which was Liverpool's odds on Betfair, we get 4.41.66%. Okay, we had 50% chance. So now I take away the R percentage away from the Betfair one. And if you are struggling with this, Remember to comment the word maths below and you'll be able to see this written down. So you'll be able to probably watch this video again and then go back through it but what I did with that was I, I worked out all of the percentages so the Betfair odds were giving us 3.50 for the draw 28% chance of it happening we thought we had a 20% chance of that happening United's Betfair odds were 2.88 34.7% chance of happening we had 30% chance of it happening okay now I just take away the R percentage away from the Betfair one, which left me with this. Liverpool had a value of 8.34% in our favour. The draw was minus 8.57, so not in our favour. And United's odds were minus 4.72. Now this shows that Liverpool were value at 8 plus percent yesterday. The draw was minus 8 and United was minus 4. So just looking at that, you go, okay, well, Liverpool are massive value. Anything over sort of 4 or 5% is pretty good value for me. Now, we are traders. You could use this model to profit long-term if you just wanted to back it. It would need some tweaking. It would need a lot of testing. We also need to remember that because we're traders, we don't need the result to go our way. We just need it to move closer to the outcome we want, which in this situation would be Liverpool scoring first, as this would drop the price and we would trade out. So we would actually get even more value than the 8% that was on offer yesterday, provided which we've researched that game 
to see if Liverpool actually do score first. There might be a hint of a strategy here that some people are coming up with watching this going, OK, well, can I compare all of the Betfair prices to each other to the actual odds of what they should be? If anything is over a certain percentage, then I investigate the teams that score first and then against do the away team concede first. Yes, you could do that. You could build a filter in BTC stats, which is something that I might actually build when I finish video recording this video. So now you've built your strategy, it's really, really good to check, to compare it when tracking your results. Because if you see that your winners are 4% plus value and the losers aren't, then you can get rid of anything below that value figure that it throws out for you, the average of your value. And you can start racking up some more profit. Now what you do need to do with this is you do need to check why you are getting the value. Don't just take this at face value, pardon the pun. Are there players missing? If there's massive players missing for Liverpool, for example, they that, that would have been crazy to have looked at that yesterday. If Nunes, Salah, Gakpo hadn't have been playing, that would have made Liverpool a lot weaker. The value would have been totally different there. And also, is there anything else that might affect the odds that you can see? And then when you've worked through that, that gives you everything that you need to know to understand value and then you can start using it in your own trading. This is just the way that I have learned to calculate value. I actually do think that a lot of people out there shout, you need to calculate value, you need value, 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 but they can't actually understand or put into words how they found the value. And like clockwork, there's a ambulance or police car driving past my house every single time I go to record these flipping videos. So let me know in the comments below, firstly, the maths if you want this, and also give me WTF is the word to comment today. If you get to the end of the video, I usually give you a word to comment. It just builds this great little sense of community here, and it lets me, the day after this video goes live, I go in, I check all of the YouTube comments, I read all of them, and I do reply to a lot of them, and it just builds that really, really great sense of community. Because like I said, me here with my dinosaur curtains um, recording these videos. In fact, it's quite cool. Maybe you should give me like your favorite dinosaur as well. I really like this Stegosaurus. Don't know if you can see him, but he's quite cool. As a kid, I always liked the, the Stegosaurus and I liked this one as well, the Triceratops. You know, everybody else went to sort of the T-Rex, but for me, I was these two. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to ramble anymore. That is value. You've got loads of value from this video, I believe. Drop me a comment below and hopefully you subscribe to this YouTube channel.